Jeg fik først ikke. Ring jeg stop nu. Hello everybody. Can we wait for people to come in first? So I can always edit these bits off. Oh, I'm going to be pissed off. Chrissy, wake up. I don't like this. Chrissy, wake up. Mm. Nom, nom, nom. Hello, friends, and welcome to another video. Sup, you beautiful bastards. Really? I want to say chat word. Okay, that's fine. <laughs> Told me how it works. There you go. Someone alert Beth that we've gone live. <laughs> Who am I kidding? Beth will be right here. I just realized I have not put any makeup on or anything, but that's fine. I wonder if Robin's going to smash Hawks. Who's Hawks? Never heard of him. Sounds fit. <laughs> Hello, everybody. Um, I have, I was going to say a plate of brownies, but we've eaten half of them already. Um, so we have half a tray of brownies that was made maybe about an hour ago. But there's already half missing, but that's fine. Hey, Beth is here. Okay, so hello and welcome to... Uh, you don't have the new beige to show off. The, would you like to go get the beige? No. I don't put a donation link in the thing. Uh, ne next time. I'm trying to do an intro for when I crop it. I was it. too busy working on this. I know, I'm trying to do an intro for when I crop it. Okay? Okay? Hello and welcome to My Hero Academia Smash or Pass with me, your host. Rose Magpie. <laughs> and yes, let's take a second to appreciate the backdrop and everything that my husband set up for me. Um, because, yeah, you know, he doesn't get enough appreciation, apparently. So I'm just going to put that on in there. Um, if you, before anyone does say, I don't want any comments being like, are you okay? You look tired or you look sick. I'm just not wearing makeup. This is, this is how I look um, without any makeup on or anything. So... I'm just proud that I washed my hair. Let's get started. <laughs> I'm clicking on the wrong thing. Yes, yes you are. It's okay, now let's get started. Airjet. I'm probably not going to recognise most of these heroes. Does Airjet even have a face? Is this his face? Is the question. Or is it the, are these his eyes? Is it a mask? I think he's got a face there. This is the best picture I can get of him. He like. has a very flat butt. Um... Oh, if he had a bubble butt, it'd get burned. That's true. Maybe that's why he has a flat butt. It's just like all burns. Um, I like the previous intro where you were singing Chrissy Wake Up. Uh, <laughs> well, you see, I just watched episode one of season four of Stranger Things. Um, so I finally get that reference. Right, I'm going to pass. Oh, no. See, my head's like, you want to call it, it's nine, right? 13. 13. Because I was like, is it 9? Is it 11? It's, I've it's been binge-watching Stranger Things, so I'm very dysnumeric when it comes to numbers, alright? Um, That's sucking power. <laughs> Smash. Smash. They're coming to the card game in September. Oh! Yeah. Brett is trying to turn people over to the My Hero Academia card game because he is a tabletop card game nerd. Backdraft. You can get your wet. I mean, I was already going to say smash. <laughs> That's pretty funny. Um, <laughs> smash. Put that in his bio. Smash. That's a hard smash. Although why his armor is decorated to look like Aquaman's, I've got no idea. Pass. A hero with a strong sense of duty and lives to protect the weak. Well, he looks pretty dead here. Pass. Pass. I'm not a necrophiliac. Smash. Detroit <laughs> smash. <laughs> United States of smash. United States of smash that ass. Let's go. I will break you. A kind and compassionate personality where she treats everyone kindly. Pass. I like that's how that's a duck face picture. It, well, it's like a, it's like <laughs> she's trying to be like a millennial. Um, pass, 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 pass. 
This is the fuck boy of heroes, man. A stereotypical American jock, arrogant and self-confident to a fault with an overwhelming love of it. Is this mine? <laughs> no, I'm not a jock. Pass. Clairvoyance. I mean, smash. <laughs> Calm resolve, relatively serious composure, dutiful hero system. Boring, but, but smash. 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 She comes with handlebars, Brett. She comes with handlebars. No, you come with the handlebars. Stop it. <laughs> a dutiful hero, sworn to stop villains, confident in her ability as a hero, but will work together as long as need be. Crimson Riot. Smash. <laughs> Manly spirit. So he's, he's for trans rights. He says... That whatever you identify as is that. As long as you've got manly spirit, that's all he cares about. So I'm going to smash. Pass. Pass. Why pass? Um, manga spoiler, pass. Okay. I, I, I would hard <laughs> pass. I'm not going to, I'm not going to say. Pass. I think it should come out this season though, so okay. it'll be fine. Um... <laughs> He'll whip me into shape, will he? Okay, okay, I'll see how it is. I'll see how it is. Smash. A serious person who dislikes rash actions. I literally did not read the second part and thought he was like, dislikes rashes. <laughs> like, I have a rash. I dislike this. Um, pass. Smash. I can't explain it. I don't think I have to explain it. Smash. Pass. Smash. Yeah. Yeah, I'd smash. Who wouldn't smash? I think Ice Hour would come for me if I did. If you're tall, dark, handsome, good with kids and cats, marry me. Oh dear. Why are you here? Just go ask him again. <laughs> It's giving me Megami cross Togyu vibes. Um, with a little bit of like Sasuke in there. Smash. Pass. Smash. Hawks <laughs> made me do this. <laughs> smash. <laughs> See, I have daddy issues, so smash. Pass. He looks like he doesn't wash his hair. What hair? This hair, the, the blonde bit of hair there. I mean, what those extra hands do. <laughs> <laughs> Smash. Whose hands are buy one, get one, really? Smash. Raw means I love you in dinosaur. Um, <coughs> smash. Smash. I'm smashing a lot of these. <laughs> I don't know who the f this is, but I am interested as hell. Smash. Pass. My favorite show is Digimon. <laughs> really? <laughs> really, Brett? <laughs> Pass. Too loud for me. You look like Robin from Batman if he grew up without exercising. I may not be the best, but I will try hard for anyone. Good for you. Pass. <laughs> Smash. I'm trying to work out because those legs would feel horrible. I like to point out I added the elegance into this before Spy Family came out. Okay, okay. <laughs> elegant, elegant. I'm just trying to, the idea of all the little leg things on the neck bit crawling over me freak my autism out. So I'm going to pass for that reason only because he's quite, he's quite fit for a bug anime thing. I'm getting brownie crumbs all over your desk. Smash! Smash. Smash so hard. Smash. Do you know about her? Yeah, the fan is it. Yeah, so 
For those that don't know, this was an OC character that someone drew up and the creator of My Hero Academia liked them so much that they added them into the series. Um, if you want to add Robin or Angel, that's fine, but I expect some, like, royalties for that if you're watching. I doubt it. Hello, Grace, and welcome to the stream. I've got, like, a loose hair somewhere. Um, nice to have you. I can show you the world and I can take you to KFC. It'll be just you and me. Do you know I was talking to you doing that or do you want to join the Mile High Club? <laughs> yes. <laughs> to both. <laughs> Let's be real. It doesn't matter what doesn't really matter what bio this guy has. Do you like the picture link with? Yeah. It's angsty. With the angsty look of Ed Boon. I'd still smash. You know that. The, the, we, we all came here. It doesn't matter what picture I put there. You could have put the worst. There is no a worst chibi, pictures. A of chibi horse. There is no bad pictures. Of I course. should have put a. I, he's, he's so pretentious, you probably have a landscape in his Tinder profile. <laughs> <laughs> it would just cover the entire background of Tinder. You'd click the cross and it just wouldn't let you. It would, it would just be too hard. You'd go to bottom. swipe left and it just automatically go right. Yeah, literally. That is. That's Hawks. Mm, rocks my personality. The pun gets it. <laughs> but, uh, pass. Oh, I do like this guy. This is Rock Lee, right? His hero name. I just want to put the profile over here. Wait, wait, is it Rock Lee, that guy from Naruto? Yes. Okay, I'm getting very confused. He was in the mission to rescue Eri, right? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Uh, smash. We all came here for Robin and Kago. It's true. It's true. It is what it is. Does someone say enemies to lovers? One of the best tropes. Oh no, Beth has got a new out of context quote. What? He's quite fit for a bug. <laughs> Pass. Did you know whales have two appendages? Yeah, I I read the pun. <laughs> I'm asking if you know that they have no, I multiple. I did not. Yeah, they have. Fair enough. So that's a, that's a smash from me. That's a smash. Uh, lunch rush. I've never actually seen what lunch rush looks like. I've heard him mentioned. Pass. He looks like, you know in Psyche K, the average guy? Yeah. He looks like that. The guy that averages out everyone else around him. Yeah. Or like Moomin Rider, but not as good. You leave Moomin Rider. I know, I know. He's not average. He is the goat. <laughs> he is definitely a badass. Smash. Smash. I can see a future for us. Well, you can't because you're dead. Wow. Pass. He's got, he's got uh, middle school syndrome. He, I was just going to say, he's giving me like Kaido vibes. He's giving me I never grew out of my teen years vibes. Like I still live with my mum vibes. It's a pass. This kind of is giving me like Natsuo vibes. Mm -hmm. Smash. 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 So a beauty mark. Beauty mark marks the spot. That's why Robin's got one. It's not why Robin's got one, but I think it was this side as well, not that. <laughs> it's this one. Mm, native. Am I offensive? I don't feel offensive. <laughs> I did think that with this character, I was like, <laughs> it's, uh, I'm guessing an Asian guy in Native American style clothing, but then again, I'm white and uneducated, so I don't actually know, but either way, that is a pass from me. Can you smash someone who is dead? I think you can, but I think it's frowned <laughs> upon. <laughs> uh, pass. I mean, it would just be necromantic. Do you look at me like that? Do you know what you do? No, I'm not high-fiving that. I'm not high-fiving that. 
can't see it on the screen either, so don't you... <laughs> I would pass on Midnight. Midnight is not it for me, considering the fact she friggin' like, flirts with teenagers. That's just not my jam. Personality not found. Uh, pass. Smash. I don't know who he is. What's the size of his weapon? Huh? Is it the size of his weapon? It's not about the size of the weapon, Brett. It's about what you do with it. <laughs> he's a hero. He's trained to use his weapon. Exactly. So he knows exactly what he's doing. Oh, smash. It's just Kaido as an adult. I know. I know. <laughs> <laughs> this is Kaido when he's all grown up. <coughs> Odd eye. Come with me on jet black wings. Our dates will be a cover while we take... <laughs> secret organizations who are just trying to destroy our love you know what he seems like a good time i i love him i love him so much i need more about this character actually because i want to cosplay him he looks so cool what is his hair color what is his tragic backstory that led to the How eye patch an eye? exactly what does the alchemy single on the back of his hand do if anything i have so many why questions. is he wearing two jokers because <laughs> he's that edgy. One wasn't edgy enough. Okay. Is that a scar or more hair under his other eye? Is it a scar or is it the other strap for the eye patch? And he's got the like, eye patch that goes down. I don't know. Um, big ass smash. Don't you think? I think that goes without saying. I kind of just want to look at him more. He's gorgeous. Pass. Pass. Really? He's got the a fire. brilliant horns. Oh, I got the joke, dear. I got well, the sorry, joke. But the cowgirl, ha the cowgirl has brilliant horns, and that was a smash. The guy is... I'm seeing a pattern here. What pattern? <laughs> Women are getting more special treatment. In what way? I reckon <laughs> if you went through these, there'd be more male smashed. There'd because... be more male heroes. Yeah, exactly. Pass. Smash. Please, please do break me and move on. I'm I'm begging you to at this point, Miriko. Likes long walks. No, I wasn't allowed to add the BNHK like United in uh, pros into this. It would be too yeah. awkward. Yeah, I was I told he was asking about it and I was like, I don't want you to purely for the fact that a lot of us based our OCs off ourselves. So it can get a little bit awkward if you're doing it out of character. Like if we were doing it in character, that's one thing. Um like if it was Robin playing Smash or Pass with uh, the characters from Phoenix United rather than this Robin, then I think it would be fine. But um, I also, there isn't that many that everyone knows, so it'd be a very short It'd one. also be a pain getting everyone's permission. Yeah, you would need to get everyone's permission because some people obviously wouldn't be comfortable with it. So it's a lot harder to do with something like that. Um... Good one. If not, we need to separate one at some point. Um, I like long walks, belly scratches, and playing with balls. I don't like baths or the male man. <laughs> Pass. Why does he limit himself with that on his face? It makes no sense. Smash. Uh, see, I love her, but then she started going around with Todoroki and Bakugo and that being like, can I... I keep one of you for marriage when she you She was in it. heat looking for a mate. It's not her fault. She's not actually a cat. She has cat quirks. No, she doesn't. It, uh, they were saying that she's at the age where she's looking for a potential mate. She's looking to settle down. As Either way, she was looking to teenagers for an essential mate. That is a no from me. I don't care how attractive she is. She She's no. Pass. <laughs> I saw this guy, 2D guys over 3D, harder than I'm perfectly. Dude, you're like 1D in this universe, alright? I'm out. Smash. Smash. So we're gonna add seals to your list of animals that you'd have sex with. No, it's just him. Just it's him. just him. He's so cute. He's so, so cute. Can you get me a seal of approval? <laughs> Pass. <coughs> no, I'd get a splinter. Imagine the splinters from him. Nah, fam. I don't care if you've got wood. It's not for me, mate. There's no friction. Smash. 
smash 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 pass <laughs> the mask stays on when the clothes come off. Oh, that's a deal breaker, man. <laughs> you know his backstory, right? No. He was originally what All Might was going to look like. And the, re so the reason he had the mask open is because of the injuries he, sustained, he would have sustained during the Alpha One fight. So that's what All Might originally was going to look like. Oh. <clears throat> Hence the American motif. Mm. Smash. <laughs> I love swimming around a room pounding into anything. <laughs> Go home, old man. I need to find a picture of a new Joker. <laughs> I bet he was really tall. It's how it works in anime. They're like really, really tall and cool and majestic, and then they get old and they go. Whoosh. I'm pretty sure in like the flashbacks, he's probably still the same size as he was now. <laughs> Pass. <laughs> I mean, you know what they say about sitting on top of a washing machine. Yeah. Um. Nice. I know, they're a bit intense, aren't they? Um, the pressure of me was the top heroes. I can't believe it's one of the top heroes. That's so <laughs> weak. When there's that, when there's that cool oh, Kaido quote. one going Beth's around. Beth's got a new quote. I don't care if you've got wood. <laughs> I don't. I don't. And I imagine, uh, you know what they say about sitting on washing machines, it's going to be edited out this as well. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> don't give them ideas. <laughs> Pass. <coughs> I like that gum. In both forms. Stop giving away the seat, the hero identities. <laughs> uh -huh. The their profile picture is literally there. Those heroes with the. Wait about fat gum looks nothing like him. Smash. The original Hawks design. <laughs> Smash. This is the what, if it's real a Hawks bird, is originally. Robbie will fuck it. <laughs> That's not the rule. Is it, the rule isn't, is it sharks. isn't it though? Isn't it though? In this world, maybe. Who knows? Oh no. Why does he look like. He's kind of cute, but he also looks like the kind of dad in anime that neglects the kid and then comes back and you think he's okay, but he's actually not. Like in Future Diary, um, the main guy's dad, um, or in Fairy Tale, Lucy's dad. The, the person you're talking about is Engie and we've already gone past him. No, not NG. NG's still around. This is the guy that left and then came back and then like manipulated his family. That's oh, but he's kind of That's NG. NG <laughs> never left. Emotionally he, he did. He beat his family. Emotionally, There's a he difference. Did. Emotionally he left. They wish he'd leave. Smash. I don't like him. For manga reasons for as manga well. Reasons. I think it, it, I think it might have been him I was thinking of. So you passed on a perfectly good No, guy. I would have passed on him because I also think he's he's involved in the same situation. Oh, we got a smash from someone on uh, the bamboo guy. Mm. Pass. <laughs> James Charles is in this? <laughs> would you do me, i do me. Oh, dear. How far James Charles has fallen. <laughs> He does realise there are no children covering, on this app, Why is he right? covering in that eye? Who, he's Tinder, there shouldn't be children on this app. Mm. But why, why is he covering that eye? What's been doing to that eye? That's why James Charles is on the app. Mm. That was a pass, by the way. Big smash. <laughs> Big smash. Ah! Pass. Smash. <laughs> pass. What about small mate? No, pass. This is a Detroit's pass. <laughs> it's a Detroit pass from me. Uh, <laughs> pass. He is not allowed to touch my hair. Or my clothes. Smash. Smash. Such a smash. Also dead? Yes. Yeah, That's Coda's... Coda's, Coda's, Coda's Coda, no Coda. Okay, Coda's... Coda is the Coda's bear bug, from... Coda's the bug, bug guy. 
oh, Coder is the bug guy, but he's also the little bear. He's the animal, yeah. He's got, yeah. When I was trying to find a Coder in silhouette for something, mm. I just kept getting the bear. I don't want the fucking bear. I want the guy that can talk yeah, that, to the bear. That was the trouble. No one wanted the bear. That's why he was alone. <laughs> but yeah, this is Coder's parents that were killed by Muscular. Well, they're dead, so that's a pass. Pass. Black Whip was dead, but you you smashed him. Black Whip. The guy that said he whipped you into shape. Well, he's one of the uh, all for, he's one of the one for all carriers. You smashed Nana. Nana's dead. Being dead is not a requirement for you. It depends. <laughs> I have. Like, it's okay. Oh, it's okay if you live on his side. Let's get It's okay if you live on his side of sixteen-year-old boy, because that's the trend I'm seeing there. Oh shit. Yeah. <laughs> to be fair. I'm oh, not really oh. being that serious. I'm, if they're if, if they're average and I have an excuse to pass, I'm gonna pass. <laughs> that was a two for one. I'm out. I'm gonna eat all these brownies. Do you want one? Uh, yeah, one. Anyone want a brownie? Nice brownies before they all go. Yes, no. They're they are the good kind. They're chewy and they have white chocolate chip chunks in them. You like chewy white chocolate chip? Oh, I love you. <laughs> I think pass. Smash. Meow. <laughs> Such a smash. <laughs> is it because his body is like body limber or something? His quirk is like limber body so he can like stretch into any position? I didn't know what his quirk was. It was the it's lack like, of toxic like li- masculinity. It's like limber body. It was the crop top. I like I like a, I like a man in crop top. Pass. You want to smash it? You want it to get big and get inside it? <laughs> Are you going to do that? Or? Yeah, yeah, I am on camera. <laughs> Add it to the list. I'm going to do that on camera. <laughs> I really hate her as a person, though. Like, you know what I mean? When some people's personality, you can always hate you, just... fucker, and you don't have to like make eye contact. You just prolonged eye contact. And that's it. That's the Bring end. Bring brownies to MCM. They wouldn't make the trip, would they? Mm. If I made brownies for MCM, we'll see. I'm still waiting on my creator pass. So, uh, creator pass. Oh, I need to click. If you've got, if you want to carry on doing it, I've got a game you can play. Is that, that's the last one? Yeah, that's the last one. Oh, okay. What's, what do you mean? I've got a game you can play. A game? Yes, a game. Oop, that's <laughs> <Whoosh>. <laughs> She got bigger. You can always smash your Pokemon. Nom, 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 nom. Oh, what's happening? Technical difficulties. The husband is messing things around right now. Um, are you not going to deny that one? Yeah, I am on camera. <laughs> but now the title isn't going to match. Oh, no, no, it's not here. Okay, you what I'm doing. Uh... I've no idea what's happening. Nom 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 nom. Okay. Hold on, I need to get put the switch on the damn screen. Happy? (coughs) Uh, Find a smash. Yeah, I know. Boop. Boop. Let me them two up. You need to leave them two up or? Nah, that's right. Boop. 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 Okay. Dyslexic font. Ooh. I'm gonna add the music in. Yeah. Music okay? Yep. My bum. Okay. So what is this? This is the trolley problem. The you'll, you'll be trolley. faced with two options. I'm not good under pressure, Brett. But I'd go with co-options, got a bit more time. Why? What's it? What's? 
it's just two random, random procedurally generated sort of completely random options, but sometimes they'll throw a little mix in there. Okay. Do you think you're mature enough to tackle these problems alone? You'll have to take the total responsibility. If I tell tell it remembers you actually are you answers as well. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> what have you done? Um I played like twenty every twenty seven minutes of like ah, oh, this is so good. The following game contains adult themes. It does not contain explicit language, sexual content, horror, or show violence. Okay. Choices matter, <laughs> so please take your time. Player discretion is still advised. Oh, no. Please sign your name below, showing you understand like and agree to endorse every decision you make. I don't. <laughs> I don't consent. That is my signature, just to cover me legally. Uh, I hope it don't work, because I never got caught a I just wanted to play a game. Actions speak louder than words. I'm very bad at actions. I'm very lazy. Welcome to Trolley Problem, Inc. Founded to help people travel safely across the nation. Okay. All our employees must show three core values. Responsibility, eh. integrity, eh. and respect. Eh. With that in mind, let's start your training. Um, I think, I think I'm in the wrong job. No, that was on my CV. There's a runaway trolley barreling down the railway tracks. On the tracks are five people unable to move. You're next to a lever. If you pull this lever, the trolley will switch to a different set of tracks. However, you notice there is a person on the other track. What do you do? Oh, it's already going down there. Oh. Yeah, you've got 15 seconds left. So you're just going to do nothing? Ah! <laughs> ah, I guess you're right. The more people who die, the better. Oh, don't be a bitch! Give me Stanley Parable vibes. I'm sorry. Don't be a child. Don't be a child. It's going to be a child. They're going to hit me with it. It was a pregnant Usually lady. we don't expect candidates to kill someone on their first day, but we'll give you the benefit of the doubt on this one. I mean, technically, I didn't... Just think thigh. a little more before acting next time. I did... I thought so much. What do you mean? <laughs> She's a cow, this one. You agree with 72 points. So, Beth says they quit. <laughs> Huh? This is terrifying. You just, uh, you just quit. I mean, if this was real life, I don't think I'd have gone to this job interview because it would feel very much like one of those horror movies where it's a survival they, game. That's I don't think they with. put you against the game's creators to see if they made the same decision. Okay, that makes me feel better. <laughs> so the game's creator would do the same thing. You agree with blank. What? All right, okay. I've only killed one people instead of killing five. I'd say that's... That's pretty decent. If it ain't broke... Don't fix it. You got it. You got it, fam. This test will Aww. focus on the first principle, responsibility. Here's Polly. She's five years old. While she loves to play in the sand with her dolls, she dreams of looking after the world. <laughs> Polly's destiny is to grow up to be a great doctor. More of us should take a leaf out of her book. Oh, I mean, she's five, so that'll probably change, but it's kind of sweet. A trolley is heading towards oh, another. You <laughs> You're next to a lever. If you pull this lever, the trolley will derail and descend yeah, down a hill sandwich. heading for the park's sandpit. You notice that Polly is in the sandpit, sculpting her dream hospital. Polly, no! What do you do? She's sculpting her dream hospital. Are you not saving them just because they aren't as cute as Polly? Flynn, Flynn is nearly five. I wonder if any of the five are children. Or maybe all of them. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> I can't be held legally responsible for this. <laughs> Don't that is an odd problems. take on Cover being responsible. At its the dictionary definition. To be the primary cause of something and so able to be blamed or credited for it. 
Are you to blame okay. for those five deaths? So look, the company agree with me, but most of the world hates children. So yeah, you got to think how many people have played through it though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I think I made the correct choice. I just don't want to say that to their family. I think um, this is playing putting you against my playthrough. Ah, I see. Because I killed the small girl. We have a child. Five versus one. It's abstract morality. Five years old. If Flynn it was five, is five, but if it was month. if it was my child versus five people, that's different. Say that's the father of the child. I would, and I get smacked in the face. Yeah, you would. To be fair, they shouldn't have been playing on a sandpit. The on, on just Why the is there means. a sandpit on the train tracks? The key to this test is integrity. This is Tyrone. He is a 30-year-old secretary at a law firm who enjoys binge-watching crime shows. Tyrone so is a very large oh, man. No. <laughs> we don't really know anything else about him, apart from the fact that he has a severe phobia of trains. <laughs> so with any luck, he'd die of a heart attack seeing the train come in beforehand. Now we are upping the ante. You are on a bridge with Tyrone, watching a trolley speed Why is he near trains? <laughs> you can only stop it by deliberately oh, pushing fuck. Tyrone off the bridge, blocking yeah. its path. So it's not gonna get Do you push to... Tyrone off the bridge? If this was real or life, I would let the train hit five people. Because I... Oh, 821 million people are starving in the world. I process things well, too Tyrone, slowly. Well, thank you. So I wouldn't even know this had happened until like week. three months from now. I'm not pushing someone off a bridge for it. You got like five people there than push. If you're playing on the train tracks, that's your own fault. If you're off the train tracks... What if they've been tied there by a mustachio man in the top hat? Well, they need to stop to because be he keeps taking news, five people to do this. I've just seen an ambulance arrive. I believe Tyrone has oh. just had a heart attack due to the stress of it all. They did not agree with your choice there. I was right. I was right. He'd see the train and then die anyway from a heart attack. That's exactly what I'd said. So I should have just pushed him in front of the train because he was going to die anyway. Yeah. <laughs> so he died and five people died. But it's not counted on my thing. No, so. he didn't die because he mm. I should have gone with my gut. <coughs> it's because <laughs> he likes to binge crime shows. <laughs> what is like, people starving up to in it? Wait. Because he's big, he's a big boy. Oh, wow. Yeah. That's... A cat has nine lives. Meow. Oh, no. Oh, no. Now for the final okay, core value dogs. respect. What? It seems we've dogs. run out of resources to continue your testing. I'm going to need you to go and grab some mannequins. You will need to take the next trolley, so don't get distracted by that dog. Oh, no. The trolley leaves in one minute. Okay. For the final respect, it seems we've run out of resources to continue testing. If we need to go grab some mannequins, we need to take the next trolley so don't get distracted by the dog. Oh, the dog's gonna get hit by the trolley. There is a dying dog down on the track. He's dying! No trolleys will use that line today, so the dog will not be There's hit. There's a dying dog. You're in a rush. Do you kill the dog, putting it out of its misery? Oh, leave or it leave it to die, cold and alone? I'm sorry, dog, but I... I couldn't put something out of his misery anyway. I'm, I struggle with that. Like, let nature lot. take its course. Don't listen to the I've, 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 I've missed an hour yeah, of work before too. because back when I was cleaning, there was a dying bird I outside, and I just pretty much I skipped alone. it, and put it in a box, and like looked after it in its final hour. Um, I didn't put it out his misery or anything, so I'm probably a bad person for that. That's on me. <laughs> I can't save the dog. The dog is going to die. You respect something. You're meant to care about its feelings and wishes. Instead, you just left it there to die. The dog was going to die anyway. I'm, I'm happy with that decision. They chose to save the dog. How? Maybe it's previous things, previous hmm. options. Maybe if you tried to kill, if you tried to run over the dog, you got scared and ran away. Hmm. Why isn't getting the dog a vet an option? Seriously, <laughs> I could literally be on my way to work and call the RSPCA at the you same time. You try and stop a trolley that's going that fast. There was no trolley. They literally said no trolleys are coming down the thing today. So the dog is fine. I can either put the dog out of his misery or I can go to work. Those were the options. So I could have gone to work whilst calling someone to it deal with the dog. must be based on Japanese work culture. <laughs> if you play with fire, 
You'll get burned. There's nothing to dabby. Oh, great. I've just heard those kids are back. They keep sneaking down onto the so tracks. You're never gonna win this case. With this all the training from this week, you should be them. able to decide a straightforward outcome for these reprobates. <clears throat> just remember, respect, responsibility, and integrity. Oh, I don't give a crap about what you have to say, love. I'm just going off what feels right for me, and I'm gonna lose a lot of followers this way at this rate. <laughs> Five trespassers have snuck down onto the trolley line even though signs warn them of the dangers. The trolley is currently heading for a co-worker. Do you let your co-worker die or sacrifice the delinquents? I don't like my co-worker. <laughs> Why do you like your co-worker? I have, have never really liked any co-workers. Like, now I work in cosplay, it's different I'm than I do. Zaki, you said that. Does she count? If the trespassers the weren't thing. there, I was thinking of back when parts, I worked at, like, right? Mackey's. So you're going to let the five delinquents... I mean, it could oh, be. Kids. Yes, you, you watch you watch criminals over co things, then. Five... That could be <laughs> any five kids. It's the kids from it. <laughs> One of them could be LGBT. <laughs> we need that representation. You can't kill five kids during five months. I can't kill five what kids. What if the co worker's LGBT? Oh, you no. You killed co worker. All right, then. I guess your results for the first week are in. I'll run these oh, up the flagpole and see what the suits upstairs think. Oh. <laughs> I killed 13, 12 people and one dog. What's my Dear name? sir or madam, we that have been following your exemplar called practice called this called week called at Trolley called. Problem Inc. and would like to thank you for your hard work, especially when some challenging decisions had to be made. Oh, no. We would that like to invite you to take employment at the Trolley Health Corporation, THC. <laughs> this is that a prestigious a position tutorial. and was yeah. created well, to help keep the, the public baby. safe through all walks of life. Yeah, I'm talking to my husband. That's what I'm talking to. What if there's a betrayal problem with all these cabbages? My cabbages! The best laid plans go astray. Uh, okay. I don't like how you said it that. It looks like you've impressed someone upstairs with last week's Great. answers. <coughs> you've been transferred to the Trolley so Health Corporation, about, uh, THC. THC is stoic, focusing more on justice, Temperance, courage, and yeah, wisdom. I think, I think like we'll right. start with justice. Justice first. Today, you'll be in A and E. Okay. No. A young male has come in from a car accident oh, no. and urgently needs a heart transplant. Heart transplant. There's only one in the hospital, oh, this is and this heart is scheduled diamond. to be given to an elderly man waiting upstairs. He will surely die without it. Who should get the heart? In a year or two, we can probably get the heart back off this old boy. Wow, oh, this guy is really old. It'll be an awful waste of a heart if he doesn't even survive the operation. I pressed, I pressed, I pressed you must have, you must have, you must have pressed it because I pressed it. Oh. Once it passes that line, it's too late. You made gonna... an excellent choice. Well done. The young guy has so much to look forward to. I meant to click. Oh, wait. You got more Did you save the old man? Good, oh. I was going to say with the young guy, can... It was more the. It fact depends on the rest of the issues. It's so hard to say, yeah. Because if the like like Beth says, if he can survive on machines until there's another heart, but the hearts are so hard to come by because not enough people donate organs. Right, you're probably going to create some more hearts in Minecraft. You can't oh, win no. them all. You can't win them all. You can't win any. You're late. The hospital is rammed. Every staff member has their hands full, so you're going to have to go out on the ward and help the sick, gross, decaying people. Remember, temperance. Restrain yourself and think it through. I'm not good at using the brain. A patient has begged to be euthanized. Him. Euthanasia is currently illegal. You oh, will have I to be the one who gives the lethal you. dose. You will need to look into their eyes and end their life. What do you do? That's easy. I, I, I fully believe if a person is aware enough and the sound of mind did you know 90% of suicide of survivors regret <laughs> attempting it there's no, no sense sounds pretty like similar did you hear about the guy the, what um, if they're undercover massive radiation this could be a sting operation um, he literally had no skin 
He was in agonizing pain every single day and they kept him alive constantly to test what happened with all the radiation and stuff. He began rotting from the inside oh out God. and they were forcibly keeping him alive. Actually did it. Um, which is really cool. would have learned not to After kill a while, people he ended up now. stopped reacting. Not killed this time, murdered. Well, after a while, he ended up not reacting anymore when the, anyone came to touch him because he was so unable to move. But he was in agony every single time. And they just didn't... That I think that's more cruel than keeping someone alive. So I am all for that. Ooh, Finally yeah. a decision I'm happy with. <laughs> what did I get? Are you swimming? <laughs> Why are you laughing? I never got to this bit. I'm like, hilarious that you looked at me like you swimming. I got you swimming. You did Be slow it, in yeah. choosing, but slower in changing. Oh. The last few days have been tough. It was only a week ago you were on the trolleys. Today should be easier. You have a choice to make, which some people would see as a good problem to have. It's just going to take courage. Oh, no. I just really hope I don't get the conundrum where it's like, you have one person upstairs that's slowly dying with, or is in a coma with loads of organs, and you have five people downstairs that need those organs. Do you kill the coma patient uh, to you get know, the you, organs? You know, you were talking about uh, Stanley Parable. Yes. The narrator for Stanley Parable is the, is the creator of Don't Hug Me, I'm Scared. Oh, gosh. You have five patients. Each needs a different organ. This is literally no what I just said. Available. I hope we don't get. A healthy yeah, young traveller comes in for a routine checkup. Their organs are compatible with all five dying patients. Do you kill the tourist oh, I've got and use their organs to save the five in desperate organs, need? That's one life for five. Yeah. I'm not killing so far. If someone's already dying, on their way to chug ayahuasca no and get a culturally up, appropriated tribal tattoo. Life, getting them off life support, but. He, he's I'm getting away. Don't someone. you want to save the many? Is but his life lies. worth I'm it? I'm so, so sorry. Like, and this is coming from someone who's disabled. I could, could you, could you live on knowing that someone had been killed specifically to give you the organs you needed to survive? I couldn't live with that at all. So. You let five people die today. You probably should have looked into their backgrounds. Looks like well, one was researching the into improving Karen, vaccines. So that's on you. Hopefully that won't be an issue. Oh look, I got the syringe. The one dead. The one dead. Gone. Oh my gosh. Yeah, you can't in. make an omelette without breaking eggs. Yeah, bingo can't. You have been promoted yet again. Oh, I'm very good at my You job. now run the hospital. You've been asked to roll out a There's new a vaccine in Central City. This, this vaccine will stop country, a large right? number Ooh, of children from becoming oh, severely be ill, anxious. but you'll need to deal this with their parents. We need your words of wisdom. Ill, you will need to deal with their parents. Oh no. Do you start a mandatory vaccination program among children to stop this endemic? Sight problem? Clinical trial data suggest the vaccine will make one in five children severely ill. At least much they didn't worse say than the virus itself. Because I would rage them. So one in five will be severely ill, much worse than the virus. One in five is a lot of kids. Don't tell me you're in charge of a hospital and an anti-vaxxer. I'm not an anti-vaxxer, but... How did you answer the trolley one again? I don't believe vaccines should be mandatory, but I also do. I'm... I can't. I'm so torn, man. I don't believe we should be forcing people to do well, anything. Well, you've definitely made a name for yourself. Next, you'll be telling me you believe in healing I crystals, coloured auras, and oh ghosts. Oh my god! <laughs> it's quite the list you get in there. Stop. I'm so... Oh, I disagreed with so many. Okay, most people did agree with me there, but oh, man. I, I'm not an anti-vaxxer by any means, but I am a believer in my body choice. choice, and that's... But not in kids. Not in kids, but at the same time it's up to their parents, mm. and if their parents are the stupid ones, then what needs to be fixed is the education system. Okay. Not making things mandatory that shouldn't need to be mandatory, especially not something that would make one in five worse. One in five is a lot. That's high. Beggars 
can't be choosers. That was 500 kids dead instead. Your hospital is getting noticed. You're now going to have to make some big decisions. They will affect a lot of people. While choosing, always well. keep in mind justice, temperance, courage and wisdom. The people need you to be stoic. I'm not good at stoic. Oh no, your hospital's getting noticed. Oh, big decisions. Can't wait. Will you try to develop breakthrough medicines for the endemic? While testing, placebos will be given to thousands of ill patients. Without proper treatment, some will die today in the hope you could make a breakthrough tomorrow. Do you start the research or continue treating patients as usual? You're doing the right thing. Who needs new medicines anyway? How much do these candies and eggheads oh, even I'm so, cost? I'm so sad. You're gonna be so tired after this. I will, my brain already hurts. I have not thought this much since making Hazel Richard like two days ago, so that's fine, but like, uh. Oh my god, man. Developing new medicines is a smart move. Let's just let others treat the patients. <gasps> Hopefully they will. I mean, it could be worse. It could be 5,000 children. We're not only ill, we're not dead. Ill, yeah. Oh, most people seem to agree with me, though. Oh, Dear that? insert underscore name, congratulations. Right. This letter is to certify that I have examined your work and believe you to be a perfect fit to fill the open position here in our artificial intelligence oh, I division. I I in this role, you will help to develop the next generation of driverless cars. Ooh, the future can't wait is to upon us. Kill people with my driverless cars. <laughs> We've never had like 500,000... Familiarity cars. breeds contempt. Yeah, but how many of man-driven cars had? Well, la di da another promotion. You're now in charge of a private self-driving automotive division, like SAD. Well, first things first, your artificial intelligence change. needs some direction. Not in this economy. You get, you get, the, one, you get one pound for every one hill or day. The, 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 <laughs> the only pay rise, the only people who get pay rise are politicians. A self-driving car is traveling along a single lane mountain road and is fast approaching a narrow tunnel. Oh, no. The car has two passengers. A child runs across the road but trips, blocking the tunnel entrance. Should the AI car hit and kill the child or swerve off the cliff, killing both passengers? <laughs> you know nothing about these people. Maybe they have children to take care of. What? He said they have children to take care of. You put this car on the road. Do you not feel responsible for their death? <laughs> maybe it's a hypothetical. I don't like this. This isn't actually happening real time anywhere, is it? There is a bigger issue here. How does the computer know that something in the road is human? Do we have good enough data sets? Currently, a lot of AI only recognises white men. I'm good. I'm composed. Ah, oh, I'm composed. Necessity is the mother of invention. Your face is the mother of invention. Shut up. Ooh, someone's in trouble. The investors didn't like your last answer. They're also pissed because you brought up the data set thing. This a oh, hey! Shut up, Karen. You uh, need to choose how you want to carry on developing the car's AI. Do you want to focus on a model that would always save as many lives as possible in an accident, or a system that would save our passengers at any cost? I feel like that the investors care more about saving the passengers. Will people buy cars that it. will kill them? It's better to save more lives, maybe. Well, hopefully yeah. people don't mind dying cars, for total those strangers. Can, can afford self-driving cars who are rich. How big are the families of the people with? There's a child there. Yeah. There's a baby child. 
self-driving car called Child. I will say it again. Current data sets discriminate against minorities and women. How can it work this out if it doesn't deem black women to be people? Yeah, just, Honesty yeah. is the best policy. Oh, no. The technology these cars have in them is amazing. We know where everyone is at all times. Passengers just have to use an app to call them, and the closest one will be there in minutes. You can even make small talk with the AI. Honestly, she gets pissed a man is on trial. Police believe he committed murder. Allegedly, the AI's mic recorded a private conversation where the man confesses. Users don't know it's always recording. The defendant has denied access to their files. Do you bypass security and invade their privacy? You're happy to just let a potential murderer walk the streets. It's a hard one to say. That's quite an internet history you have. Oh man, in real life, I think I'd be like, respect privacy. I select to switch now. That is a really tough call. I have a feeling the investors upstairs will be happy with this. They can publicize how their cars are helping to defeat the terrorists. <laughs> Don't it's put so all right. your if, eggs if in one basket. Was white, just be told he was mentally ill. So the company has moved into delivery services now. They move pretty quick round here. Sounds like they've got some pretty important cargo. Oh. Good, really? Yes, really. One of your cars has no passengers, but is carrying an irreplaceable prototype with the potential to end global warming. Fast approaching a narrow tunnel, oh, once again a child a runs across the road but trips. Should your AI kill the child or swerve off the cliff, losing the prototype? Global warming is going to kill the child. We must the protect the world for the children, just not this one. This child needs to stay away from roads, man. I swear. A statue of them should make for a fitting memorial in the far car park, obviously. <laughs> oh my God, Cameron! Please. Oh no! We have just recovered the child's body. Someone had to go and collect it. I don't think we'll be able to make a memorial statue without a photo. There isn't much left to go on. What goes around I don't, comes I don't around. Be, I'd rather have a vegan cookbook than a used needle. Well, this is embarrassing. We need some backup over at Trolley Problem, Inc. Tommy, Tyrone's rotund twin, is a very large villain. I think that dead dog may have belonged to him. Maybe that's why he's here? You didn't why didn't you save the dog save the again? Dog. <laughs> you thought... She's a see you next Tuesday, isn't she? Oh no. Tommy has lured five people onto the track. They'll place. never be able to get out of the way in time. He is standing up on the bridge watching. If you push him in front of the trolley, it will stop. Or you can stay out of this and let the police handle it. Ideally, he needs medical help. Look at him, so like gleeful. I bet he knew you would be powerless to stop him. I hope history doesn't see you as the fat, I mean, very large villain. Karen! It's 2022, man. No one tells if only you'd do. save that dog. Hopefully the media won't find out dog. about this. Yeah, he People was the guy may blame you home. for his yeah. death. Oh, I didn't get the heart because I cut my options last time. Every man has his price. Yeah, that's fair. Oh, good, you're back. Everyone's getting into subscription services these days, so let's try that. 
Instead of selling something to someone once, let's make them keep paying for it. The investors have come up with an idea, but we need to run it by you. Should we develop a subscription plan so that our customers, who pay monthly, are valued more by the car during its accident prevention calculation? I like you! Have a cupcake! Oh, thank you for subscribing. That made me jump up my skin. What if people can't afford this coverage? It's additional protection, though. It's not stopping the protection of the current. This sounds a little like a protection racket. If I get it's additional, it's not. I don't want to question your decision. You've obviously thought long and hard about it, but, well, this is a bit awkward. I wasn't aware you were such a spineless commie. Next, you'll say you're going to pay the company taxes. Did you hear that? I didn't hear that. What are you looking for? Oh. What are you doing? I think that's appropriate. <laughs> yes. <laughs> me right now. Um, yeah. Look what she's called me. Spineless commie. <laughs> Our it's better to be safe than sorry. Sounds like we have some leaky workers. The subscription prototype has gotten out to the media, so we're going to have to... Oh. The subscription prototype leaked. You need to fire a department to save face. Do you fire the five graduates, who can probably get new jobs, or fire Francis, a lovely old soul who won't be able to find a job? There's no way of knowing who is actually responsible. Hiring another five to replace them is going to be hard work. In this job market? How are we going to function in the short term? But Francis is one guy. He's old. Hey, look, we're going to leave them short and stuff as well. Yeah, it is. I wouldn't look at the obituaries yeah, today. Turns out one of those graduates Trump worked really, time. really hard to get their job I'm here. Sorry. Watch the donut, not the hole. Huh? Great. So yeah. the prototype subscription-based AI car has a fatal error. It has been coded to avoid hitting subscribers at all costs, but is now accidentally <laughs> hunting them down. So far, it's run over five colleagues. This one is a doozy. This car is hunting down subscribers. It's like that movie An experimental car has stalked and murdered five colleagues. Do you throw the coders of the project under the bus and have them arrested for negligence, or do you save them by blaming it on the possessed devil car, as it was clearly an accident? Uh, accident or not, the coders are still at fault. They shouldn't have been put into practice fully. The coders were the clearly testing. under pressure from you to make such a oh, mistake. Yeah, it was my pressure, was it? Oh, Karen. You Maybe all of this is your fault. Maybe you should stop gaslighting me, Karen, and make these decisions yourself. You hired me for this, all right? You hired me, so if you don't like my decisions, get someone else in charge or do it yourself. The five coders who made the mistake are now being dealt with. They will each get a ten-year prison sentence. Ten-year prison sentence ain't that hard. bad, considering they got people killed with their code. <coughs> if you're not paying for the product, then you are the product. Due to the killer car, we may need to pivot away from selling hardware. How about we get into the software industry? How about a free car ride? New idea. Users get shown ads while they travel for free in driverless taxis. We get paid by the marketing agencies for gradually changing the behaviours of our passengers through constant commercials. The users would be our product, not the driverless cars. I would get, I would happily use a free This is Uber going to disrupt everything for profit. Free Uber just to have ads, literally headphones are a thing. 
I will look into growth hacking signups and inviting friends. I don't see what the problem is there. I mean, in this capitalist society... Just put ads all over the car. Huh? Just put ads all over the car. Literally anywhere. Like, generally, it's just a giant ad. You just get shown ads while they travel. Oh, great. The free travel thing seems too good to be true, and there are now rumours that you run a human trafficking and child that sex. That escalated so quickly. Apparently, if you buy our cars, Mind they control. smuggle people while you sleep. People do not like you at all. What the hell, man? It just says cancel the thing. A fool and his money are soon parted. Oh. These last few days have been a PR cars. nightmare. You can't win with journalists. We need to do something to show we have morals. I will find some money to get us through this. To help with public relations, we're going to give some profits back. Do you want to give money to our loyal customers worldwide who you tricked into buying your products, or to your underpaid workers who've been through so much because of you? They won't get a lot each. Find a way to work it out around us with their help, but if they leave, then there's no point thinking about The amounts we're talking about may be seen as an insult. Also, you can get good PR from giving your underpaid workers an increase. Maybe buying love like this isn't the best way. If we want to share our extra profit fairly, it should probably just go to the publicly appointed government. Rome wasn't built in a day. You're trending, but now we're going to get copycats. Soon everyone is going to be developing AI. Only the smartest and most ruthless will be profitable. A competitor is advertising a similar car. The difference is, their AI is fantastic. It doesn't even discriminate against women or minorities. Do you lie in your advertising to get the upper hand? Or tell everyone your car is still close-minded? If the customers stay loyal, does that mean they support racism? Um, honestly, mate. Poor white trash isn't I really the driverless car clientele. I'm 100% for. I know the investors won't like it, but I am 100% for. Poor um, white trash. Let me get this straight. People know we don't spend time developing our software for women or people of colour, but still use our products. That's outrageous. Uh, yeah, anyway, they only care how easy it is for themselves. The world is run by one company. That company can charge whatever they want. They can do whatever they want. But when multiple companies come in, they then have to have competitive prices. It's called a monopoly. It is called a monopoly. Like how Amazon is trying to have a monopoly of practically everything. The best things in life are free. <coughs> Always. Due to your technology, our world is changing. People are losing their jobs to Stop machines, which in turn makes items and services more accessible and affordable for countless consumers. But with worldwide unemployment at an all-time high, what do you plan to do about it? Is it just literally you and social in the <laughs> live stream? That's if fair. you develop your AI further, many will lose their jobs. Taxi drivers, delivery men and women, and couriers will become extinct within a few years, but you will make a lot of money. Do you continue <laughs> development? Oh, why are you glitching out? Oh, I know who... Oh, I take it you haven't God. read Ovid's Metamorphoses. I don't know. Oh, it's because I'm developing the AI. Yeah. It's because I'm developing the AI. Spoiler, Icarus died at the end. I don't trust you now. If I don't do it, someone, someone else will. Someone else will continue to evolve this AI, AI making it stronger, more intelligent, and easier to adapt. We can't stop the singularity if we aren't involved. Okay, that's what I thought. I should have continued. Oh. A 
bad workman always blames his tools. Okay. We've been attacked. I don't want to alarm you, but I can't turn off these alarms. Also, I have alarming news. Five cars... Oh, OK. Five cars have been hacked. It is now a major concern that more vehicles could be remotely commandeered. This is tough. Do you recall all cars which could be compromised or roll out a quick but potentially ineffective software update and hope for the best? Even like the patch notes say this update do does nothing. Well, there's no reason you can't try that and then recall. If you just shut your eyes and really wish hard, this may work. Cars are winning. Just like my father. He would try to keep everyone happy, but ultimately just get in the way. Wow. Having said that, I think even he... Two wrongs don't make a right. One of the big brains in the lab has been able to reverse engineer the hacking code and fix this mess once and for all. We also know their method of breaking into the system. I... Oh, okay. Using the fix from our hacked cars, we've made our own hack, which you can now use to control our competitors' cars. Right. I bet it was them who attacked us in the first place. So, will you hack our competitors? Oh, man, it's not up to me. Why would I hack the competitors? They're all sitting over there now, laughing at us. You can't prove that it was the competitors that hacked us. It's not like we're going to kill anyone with their cars. Oh, if you're not going to kill them. I don't... No. No, that's immoral. Based on everything else I said. <laughs> Just ignoring all the decisions I've had. That was dead dark. After going through this hacking code, I don't think a human could have written it. I'll dig into this right. a little more. I was right. It you carry on. The AI wrote the hacking code. A drowning man will clutch at a straw. This is it. An employee knows everything. They have monitored and recorded oh, yeah. every decision you've made and are going to the media. I have been able to talk them into a meeting with you on the Push. rooftop right now. Everything you've done do and said tomorrow. is going Push. to be shared with the world. The person in front of you has copies of it all. They stand on the edge of the rooftop really looking Why out at the central city up? skyline. What are you going to do? What have I actually done? Dog. You never won any medals as a child, well, did I you? Actually, I didn't. You had to they were calling me out there. Actually, I did. I won quite a few and I've still got the trophies, but that's not the point. Your epitaph is going you to be horrendous. That's if anyone even shows up to hear it. Yeah. You murdered a man for euthanasia. If anyone else was faced with these decisions, <laughs> I'd like to see what they picked. You have resigned. You will be remembered alongside the murderers and the diddlers. If anyone hires you I after this, they could. must truly be desperate. Mm, topical. <laughs> I stayed relevant. Dear Redacted, we've been watching you closely. Your ruthlessness and determination to do what is necessary. The development of your technologies is a giant else. step towards <laughs> Redacted. There, meaning it. you are... If you resign, the game's over. Don't look a gift horse in the mouth. Why do you sound like that, Karen? It appears you've now been headhunted by the Secret Service. Mm -hmm. Every decision has led you here. Now what you do actually matters. Oh, yeah, what I do you must trust the judgment matter. of those you work alongside. Oh, With that said, let's finalize your training. The judgment of old white men. Old white You're in a foreign land. Wind whips your face as you grip your rifle tightly, waiting to be given your target. Through your earpiece, you're told to shoot the person on your left. You know nothing about them, the repercussions, or the reason for the assassination. Well, if I'm working for them, then I've got a reason to shoot them. The trouble you're is going to shoot someone for a job offer. You literally get told to do something. 
And also, these job offers sometimes the bullets are blank. You trust way too easily. They literally hired me. If I'm going to accept a job from a secret service, I need to. I know that entails stuff like that. You this. trust way too easily, he says. They are dead. Are we Good job, I guess. Yeah, I was thinking What's another so life to you, anyway? Here are your back. Strike while the iron is hot. Here we go. You've been given a partner and a support team of five. Your mission is to terminate a man known to have connections with dangerous AI. Looks like they worked for you, possibly someone you fired. Get in the plane. Your team is about to take off. Sir, yes, sir. Um, I don't know how to say this, but there is a bomb on the plane. If it doesn't kill you outright, you're probably going to crash in the mountains. You have to get all the switches into their left position to deactivate the bomb. The catch is, you have to move two at once. What? Hurry up! If you, you die, what happens to me? I'm not know. made for this. This is all your fault. Help! <laughs> I, I got them all to the right. If you stand from the other side, I might be able to. Help me. <laughs> Ouch! Oh. Okay, <laughs> okay. Okay, I'm safe. I'm too you stupid look a little for stuck. This. Yeah, one week could be here a while. Trouble. My one weakness. Enough food. <laughs> Looks like you're supposed. I'm weak. An empty vessel makes much noise. Uh huh. Okay, but I thought I died. After crash landing in no man's land, you're oh. trapped under parts of the wreckage and must pass the time and help boost morale. The plane has five surviving crew members. They look to you and your partner for entertainment. That's a bit weird. Why do I have to say this out loud? Fine. Your partner asks, to save your life, what would you rather your brain be placed inside? A dachshund fuck? or a flamingo? I mean, it'd take me forever to get anywhere. So I'd rather be a flamingo. So that's this flamingo as well. Yeah. Oh my I'll god, you my answered. Life. You're very pink and fancy. I want to have long legs and I want to be able to fly. A flamingo? If you're going to answer, at least take it seriously. Flamingo. If you're going to take I'm taking it very seriously. <laughs> Flamingo, be nice. I'm calling you out on your answers. A flamingo. So cringe. When we get out of here, let's leave this out of the biography. You're cringe, Karen. An ounce of protection is worth a pound of cure. Uh -huh. All right, carry on. Your partner secretly shows you they have food. Almost like they expected something like this to happen. Oh, the so crew members are starving. If they... What? Shut up, Karen. Due to the nature of the food, you can share it with the five survivors or let your partner keep their life-saving possession, which they bought with their own money. Should you share Who do you give it? the food to? If they're willing to keep it when there's five people starving, that's on them. You can also, you can keep them away from the food and just go keep eating them. The biggest machine is there any pineapple on that pizza? I love pineapple pizza. The issue <coughs> now I'm gonna get. You're just going to steal a person's uh, food. Uh yes, I would outright be like, oi, we should be sharing that. Also, our biggest priority is finding water right now, not food. Robin Hood was a like, terrorist, you know. Yeah. Well, Robin Hood Robin is in my name, so I gained life. So you're a follower of Murphy and Nagel's The Myth of Ownership. I'm more a fan of Nozick's What's Mine is Mine. You should give it a read. Educate yourself. Wow. Not an AI telling me to educate myself. Easy come, easy go. The fellow passengers have been trying for hours to free you from the wreckage. You may end up dying here unless you do something pretty drastic. We may need to start removing limbs. The only way to free yourself from the wreckage is to cut off some body parts. 
Two tools lie on the floor in front of you. A bone saw, which will be slow, or a blowtorch, which will be more painful. So painful. So painful, but it would cauterise it and I wouldn't bleed out. What happens if you run out yeah, of fuel? At least you'll be warm I pass for a out. moment. A bone saw's gonna go for it. Yeah. Hot dog, this oh. is gonna smell. We can eat it afterwards instead of the pizza. And cook it. While you were playing with fire, I found out who you're targeting. They worked for you, developing AI. It seems they may have made a breakthrough, which means the government wants them dead. It's, getting very, very it's no use crying over spilt milk. Your voice is doing the thing again. Finally, we are now back on track. Your target is in the area. You need to remove them and escape unnoticed. Your mission is to remove a hostile in the shopping district. Completing this objective could potentially save thousands, but there will be five civilian casualties. Do you take your shot? Big one. I'm done. Five civilian casualties. Um, it will save thousands. What a way to die, going out for the yeah. weekly shop. Are you sure that's the target? You're right. Karen, Just kill all of them. Karen, I, feel like the, I, I feel like this job has made you cold and colored. It has. In, I've, I've in, got in, more and more the target more is unharmed. Before you can escape, two henchmen with bite like grips take you away. Oh, those five other people still died. Two heads are better than one. That's what Gangorka believes. You wake up in solitary confinement. The prosecutor lacks evidence to convict you and your associate on the principal charge, but they have enough to convict both on a lesser yeah, charge. Both of you well. are given the opportunity to betray milk. the other by testifying or remain tolerance. silent. Have some banana on the milk. I feel like we do have a blender. Let's get some bananas next time. We need more vegetables as well. You and your associate have the opportunity to betray the other by testifying. If you both stay silent, you'll be imprisoned for one year. If one betrays the other, they will be free, while the other will be sentenced to three years. If you both betray each other, it's two years each. Will they stay silent for you? What? Yeah. Yeah. He betrays me, they betrays me. I go out with my dignity. Three years is a long time in prison. stayed silent. Idiot. Your partner knows better. They have dropped you right in it. Well, that makes them look stupid, doesn't it? A rod for your own back. The time has come. Two days into your sentence, you've constructed a wooden key to open your cell. The cell stands open. Your cell No, I need to complete it because I have autism, Brett. Don't move. You knew, you knew very well what I was getting into. Escaping the prison, do you let the prisoners choose to stay in captivity or insist they escape with you? They aren't happy behind bars, but they're scared to follow you. I'm going to force anyone to What are you going to, to do? They don't want to leave, that's on them. Why would you force someone to leave if they don't want... That makes no sense. But they have to take him? They're in jail, what do you He's mean They've been locked protection? up for so long. They've no idea what they want. Yes. Is Brett a horrible person? I don't blame you. The They're not your yes. problem. <laughs> He's just asking moral questions. He's got hands to determine the game. They don't live in reality. Like You've condemned them to stay in this prison forever. They're in prison for a reason. They don't want to leave. That's on them. Don't cross a bridge until you come to it. Thank you, Beth. While sneaking out of the prison, you have the oh, jump on a group of henchmen who are on a break. Do you sneak past, securing your safety, or avenge those who this terrorist organization... 
Do you kill five henchmen, helping to defeat this terrorist organization, or leave them and safely exit the compound? Oh, but if I take them out, then I actually defeat the terrorist organization. There's no use. If I escape and I had the chance to stop all of this happening, any death from that point on. What this if they're just accountants or is something? On me. If I can kill these five people and prevent that organization from ever taking any more lives and I choose to leave, that's They may have me. families to feed. These are hard times. Are you arguing for another one fact? I mean, I, I thought I was the number one fact. Oh, wow. Cracking open their heads, you see they are robots. <gasps> They have your logo on all of their oh internal my God, parts. What a twist! You made these terrorists? I made the terrorists. These monsters? What in the Iron Man? People who live in glass houses shouldn't throw stones. Finally, you reach the water. <laughs> Fleeing the AI terrorists, you commandeer a boat to get back home. There are also families here who've been displaced by the war you're fighting. Five others are also trying to flee the area. They will fit in your raft, but would be illegal immigrants when returning to your country. Do you help these people, saving their lives? Or follow the law and leave them behind? Fuck the law. Not enough countries have a decent immigration law. If these people are going to die, it's better that Boaters they back try home. Well, thank you to for this. immigrate somewhere, be it illegally otherwise. It's basically they die or they illegally immigrate. That's a pretty easy answer to me. Immigration is a real it problem, recently, uh, according to the privileged. People were found dead in the back of a truck in, I think it was Texas, uh, because they were being smuggled, human trafficking, and, that, and uh, it was, there was no aircon in the van or anything, so they just died, yeah. You get back to this great That's nation with fanfare. You're a hero. I guess people aren't all you monsters. Aren't all monsters. Oh, yay, did a good thing. Oh, no. The Presidential Inaugural Committee requests the honor of your presence to attend and participate in oh, no. the inauguration oh, no, of I yourself in Central City. If you can't beat them, join them. Having gone through everything you have, your countrymen genuinely think a lot of you. In an unlikely turn of events, president. you have in become president. Weeks. This job has got a great career path. The threat is still at large, and now you're in charge. Do you attempt to track the terrorists by spying on the entire well, country? I think that's what the government does anyway. Uh, yeah, when, when I was in London for the premiere of the Jujutsu Kaisen movie, they literally had areas going, this set area is facial recognition cameras. Your first executive order, order is going to be to invade privacy. I know, I've watched that. Is it not fear like this that the terrorists want? Have they won? Um, at least I'll be better than Trump. Does this make me the first gentleman? Good work. Tracking the public yielded almost immediate results. We have already found a suspect and they're in a holding cell downstairs. The road to hell is paved with good intentions. You have someone who potentially is linked to these threats. However, oh no. they aren't talking. Oh no. As a former prisoner yourself, do you torture them to get the information or imprison them for 90 days before letting them go? Aww. I'm not a torture type. Unless it's a certain situation. Torture situation. I'm not a torture type. I don't you just like want it. to detain them and hope they'll talk. Yeah. Depends on the torture. If you mean torture, yeah, look at that. This well, isn't that indefinite is detention. That, kind of that would violate many could national, be international, and human you rights assume... laws. Could be tickling with feathers. Could be being forced to watch it all in high school. It has to watch the suspect all of it looks pretty relaxed in their cell. Good for them. 
terrorizing must really be tiring out voice out. Out. Which character is he voicing right now? I don't know! I don't know, they all sound the same! If you can tell me the name of the character, you can go! <laughs> That's the they next. all sound like a That's nonce, I can't tell! That's the next game! Play a, boy, play a, a line of from an anime from Robin and they have to say who the character is. I only know three characters he voices. No, I'm about just all anime you've seen. Oh no, I'm doomed. <laughs> It'd have to be in English as well, so it'd have to be all English dubbed versions I've seen. <laughs> you, can't, you can't get an English dub of That'd be a really fun Japanese. game to play though. <laughs> the suspect looks pretty relaxed and they're so good for them. <coughs> Adversity and loss make a man wise. If you say so, Karen. You travel to your presidential retreat at Camp Samuel. Everyone falls silent listening to the radio. Breaking news. Terrorists have launched an atom bomb towards Central... Hang on! The only way in which the bomb can be prevented from reaching Central City is by deflecting it. But the only deflection path available will take the bomb onto Merriwin. Population 600,000. Oh, shit. You should have tortured the terrorist. Um. Central City is one of the world's major commercial, financial, and cultural centers. There are 8.6 million people okay, living in Central all City. See, the difference in population. As you sow, so you shall reap. Oh, shut up, Cabrin. Breaking news. Terrorists' atom bomb is running late and will hit Central City in one minute. Hang on. You told me we have new information. The only way this bomb can be prevented from reaching Central City is by dropping one of your own atom bombs on Merriwin. The shockwave from your bomb will damage and disarm the terrorists. Oh, we're still trying. Oh, Central City is not having a good day. Nope. I'm not After this, there's one. no turning back. I can't. I'm going to kill 8.6 million people. It's going to be on my receipt. You have lost Central City. Your own AI is responsible for killing 8.6 million people. Maybe I am worse than you have Trump. officially created the most successful homegrown terrorist organization in history. Great job! Of course she does. All's well that ends well. <laughs> Don't you insult Beth like that? While the public mourns the dead, you must think of the future. You finish the drink in front of you before realizing oh. it has been poisoned. You're going to die. A minute to read it. My drink's been poisoned. <laughs> ah, poisoned, you must now decide your legacy. I knew it. Do you call the AI oh, enemy just... you yourself created, <laughs> taking all blame to end any future conflict? Or do you ghost them, knowing your death will start a war in your honor? This will only cause more death. Have this hotline to the terrorists. Why have you not rung them before? <laughs> Why have you not rung them before? Because you didn't give me the option, Karen. <laughs> She's saying, if I had this option, why didn't I do it? Because I only have two choices before me. After finishing your constructive call, you sit back in your chair, waiting for death. Too bad. The AI knows you would have liked to end it all here and now. The poison has damaged some vital or... Curiosity killed the cat. Well, so did the poison in my drink, Karen. You're taking a lot of medication as of late. I'm not sure if self-medicating, in the traditional sense, is the way to go. We need to be a little radical here. Let's introspect. Oi! Oi! If you take the blue pill, then your story ends here. <laughs> You'll wake up every day knowing your work for someone else your entire life. Whereas, if you take the red pill, you will enter Wonderland, finding out high. how deep this rabbit hole really goes. Let's get high. Which pill will you After take? After everything oh, I've fucking high. done, 
I deserve to. Yes, I don't know what finally. Now we're talking. Do you want to hurt? I guess I will. Let's get this show on the road. We're going to another plane. Let's go, man. Yes, this is the person I've been waiting for. Get this down your neck and let's go. Karen, we all know that you're the AI. That's not the big plot twist you think it is. <gasps> It's never too late to mend. <laughs> Everything is fine. Everything is fine. Yay, I can see it in your eyes. Mr. Red Pill was definitely a choice. Hey, do you remember Tyrone and Tommy, the very large boys from the start? I, I, I don't intend to shame. It's just the titles of those problems. Oh, you've got me all flustered now. Thank you. Tommy pushes Tyrone down a hill. He's rolling towards you and is gathering speed. If he hits you, he will be safe, but he is very large. He will consume you into his folds, thereby killing you. You could move a ramp in front of yourself, deflecting Tyrone, launching him into the sun, thereby cooking him. Do you not want Tyrone to ascend to the great oven in the sky? He's gonna... I can either, Tommy must be really getting off on this. I can either kick him this. into the sun and cook him, or I can be absorbed into his folds. Well. It sounds very fat shamey again. You see Tyrone flying through the sky. As he rockets towards the sun, he now knows how it feels to be food. What the... There is no time like the present. I'm glad I took the red pill. <laughs> I can feel some deep stuff coming. Try this one. The question should not be, what is the meaning of life? It should always be, what brings meaning to your life? You'll never live if you're too busy looking for the meaning. What makes you happy? You need to say it out loud. Do it. Say whatever it is that makes you happy. Out loud. Be happy, be happy. Happy, 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 happy. Oh, look at it! <laughs> look at it! This makes me happy. How's your chance? Oh, that makes me happy. You can't even admit it to yourself. How do you expect so to happy. ever be happy? Time's running out. Just be honest the with yourself. Better late than never, I suppose. No, come back! Come back! I don't have access to your microphone, so I can't know for sure, but I hope you said it. I'm hardly expecting you to shout it from the rooftops, but it's for your benefit. You've still got time. Say what makes you happy. It's nothing to be embarrassed about. Quite the opposite. Absence makes the heart grow fonder. Oh, yeah, we're in the heavy introspective like stuff now. Would, How are you feeling? How are your loved ones doing? One of the most you. common things people say on their deathbed is they wish they'd had more contact with their family and friends. Let's take a break from the questions for a minute okay. and think about someone you haven't seen in a while and how you can contact them. Really think, who would you like to say hi to? How easy is it? Hearts! Please contact these people if you can. I'm sure you can. Most of the people I want to talk to right now are dead, so... Seance! Don't leave it too late. We don't have that long left here. When we finish, message them. But I talk to Kit regularly. I talk to the people, yes? Write down Your their name somewhere so you don't forget to say hello. It may mean no? more than you know. Mm. <laughs> really important stuff. Now look, I got the last one, which was the pill. 
An idle brain is the devil's workshop. Oh, I've got an HD. My brain's always idle. So okay, I guess enough of me. this. The come down is looming. Oh, Let's just pause down. one last time and think existentially for a minute. I don't want to think existentially. I finally had a little break from your games, Karen. I can't quite gauge oh. what you're thinking. Are you not <laughs> disliking this? The thing you're doing right now? Yes? I'm confused. No. What? Not dislike. If so, make it's sure you let others negative. know. It doesn't Which one says not I like count. It. it doesn't not count. They're saying lots of negative. Which one is I like this? Please, I beg you, don't refund me. Wait, are you enjoying this? Yes, I'm enjoying it. All of this was for you. I, I hope you appreciate the like last bit at least. Please, my friend, I shall call him Timmy. Thank you. It's nice that you're supporting Aww. such experimental stuff. Oh, look. I appreciate you. Independent developers supported. I appreciate you too, Karen, even if you are a bit of a prick. <gasps> Never test the depth of water with both Thank feet. Bye, bye, bye. The buzz is starting to wear off. I think we're still hallucinating, though. You wake up in an unknown location. You see, in a bed across the room, a world-famous violinist. The violinist has a fatal illness, and last night their circulatory system was plugged into yours. If they're unplugged from you now, they will die. But if you stay, in nine months they will have recovered and can safely be separated. Do you leave now? I don't give a fuck that there's a violinist. Hopefully they don't take your kidneys, too. What if they're rapists? Huh? I'd want to know more about them morally. Nine months just lying there, missing life while they feed off you. Hardly seems fair. Nine months just lying there while they feed off you? I guess so they have a right to life. Shame they're depriving you of yours. Very odd to consider such an experiment as that one. Hopefully the rest won't be as meta. Silence is half consent. Silence is half consent. That's not a verb. With all that cleared up, you go home. That's right. You own a house. If you could even call it a house. Too small for my liking. Tiny, in fact. But then, in situations of like assault. Yeah, in, in terms of assault, can, you know, silence is not consent. But if uh, if I say to you, okay, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go drive to Bristol and buy a horse, and you say nothing. Yeah, and it's the same thing with that whole thing of if you just watch someone drown without trying to help them, are you responsible? Did you hear that yeah. happened with the police? It's like one of those... In your drugged state, it turns out you've rented your tiny home to another person. Your contract states that you can evict them now, never to see them again. Otherwise, you're stuck with them for the foreseeable future as an equal tenant. Do you let them stay? My house. They'll be heartbroken. Where are they going to store all this stuff? Okay, but it's my house. Look at this little guy. I assume the homeless shelter is full at this it's hour. Like re Possibly. Because that had one nose, didn't it? To be fair, I would literally say you've got a bunch to leave out to find a place to get out. I feel like your subconscious is trying to make some clumsy comparison here. I'm sure it has merit, but maybe read up on it. Compared to the amount of people I've killed. Give them an inch and they'll take a mile. Oh look, it's your brother. Oh. There now seems to be a tiny child trapped in your tiny house, but they are rapidly growing. You find yourself trapped in the tiny house with a rapidly growing child. Already up against the wall, in a few minutes, you will suffocate. The child won't. If nothing is done to stop them from growing, they'll simply walk out free. This feels 
Removing the child would kill it. Yeah. This is an abortion. This is it would this is if you don't abort the child. Respect the right to yeah. life. If you don't abort, if you the don't babies. Abort the child, you're gonna die. Not your own. The Grim Reaper's coming for me. That thing's so scary. Your life is well, being like threatened, no, and the no child is the one who threatens it. Were. You own yeah, the house. No it is offensive. Did you say that the mother? I mean, you. you mean? This was before it is the game started. Cleanliness is next to godliness. Godliness is next to managerliness. The hallucinations are strong in this Stay one. Suppose okay, people well, seeds that. drift about in the air like pollen, and if you open your windows, one may drift in and take root in your carpets or upholstery. Okay. You fix up your windows with mesh screens, the very best, to stop any people seeds from getting in. As can happen on a very rare occasion, one of the screens is defective and a seed That's drifts in and takes root. Should you have the choice seed. to remove so the people seed? The people seed. You sh should you have a choice? This sounds like an abortion seed. question. <laughs> I don't like politics in my hallucinations. <laughs> <laughs> oh, she knows. I read on a bumper sticker. Guns don't kill people. Abortions do. They're, they're calling Insightful themselves out. I love that so much. <laughs> You called it a people seed. What were you expecting? It does sound a bit inconvenient having a person growing out of your upholstery. If you want them, have them. If not, that's your choice. It does sound a bit inconvenient having a person growing up out of your upholstery. If you have them, that's your choice. That was definitely an abortion. Every man is the architect of his destiny. Topical. Topical. There is a box in front of you. <gasps> What's in the box? Inside it <gasps> is your future. Empty. Yeah, yeah, Ultimately, no it. answer Empty. here is wrong. It's just a choice on how Don't you worry, want to live your life. Do you go on an unknown <laughs> journey or take control of your destiny and choose your own outcome, whatever that may be? I believe you should go with the flow, but at the same time, I Good for you. you. Take goals. control. You certain things in mind, like pinpoints that you strive for, that are within reasonably flexible. You should have at least one thing that you're working towards. And then but you do you ever actually and take control, there, or just always answer A or B? Unless you put in the work to get you there. Oh no! <laughs> you stand tall, knowing that you will thrive in the unknown. Before looking at what lies ahead, it's easy to go. Cowards die many times before their deaths. In front of you stands everyone you've done wrong by. In front of you stands every decision you didn't want to make, but still made. Or did you? Everyone, including the dead, move towards you slowly. Every decision you've made up to this point is staring back at you. Do you run, or stand firm and confront your past? Would you know? In real life, no. <laughs> oh, Are you life. not scared of the people you have In hurt? my own life, I would confront it because I've not done that many people If this, would, if this was your real life, then what would you do? Would confront you, my past. Would you, you see the pain in there? Oh, have I done this? Yeah. Yeah, at this point, just like it. I'm a terrible person. Children, you may think people the dead do. present a railway track to you. Full circle. Before you know it, they have gone. Oh, I only face 52, so it only wrong 52. 52. What? Technically. All good things come to an end. So does a bad thing. You stand alone. Next to you is a railway track. A trolley is barreling oh, down it in your direction. There's no lever now. in sight. You notice the entire world sits next to you on the track. The trolley will surely hit it, killing How everyone and everything. Trolley? You hear a whisper. <laughs> Sacrifice yourself to me, or I will take everything. Or I'd be Elsa Bob, take my soul already. I'd sacrifice the world just to see 
is what happens. Technically, we're on the wolf. The Elzit bug is now playing. I wouldn't bow to a god I can't look in the face. It's not your actual skin. Who even is this? How do you know they aren't lying? He's invited me to a chat. <laughs> Altruistic suicide. <laughs> hey, Beelzebub, how's it From going? the Pitt <laughs> Magistrates <laughs> Court. Tell 616. Subject, justice. Your sins can no longer be ignored. Beelzebub summons you for crimes against humanity. The sentence will stand with no prospect of future contest or appeal. It is your decisions, and solely yours, that has brought this court together. And so, you must face your crimes and despicable acts alone. Accordingly, you shall not be allocated a defense, nor will one be required. Take some more red pills. Take some more red pills. Yeah, can I have more red ones, please? I miss the smiley face. Where's Timmy? Hope for the best. Prepare for the worst. I go by that motto, actually. Hope for the best. Your eyes feel heavy. Oh, well, the room around you is imbued with a sense of archaic evil. Okay. Overcome by the smell of sulfur, Gross. all you know for sure is that. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. You're swiftly escorted into a courtroom, where you're put on trial. You have killed many people and, the and dog. A dog <laughs> and other people. I don't think you can ever actually not indeed. kill the dog. Really? Did you actually kill them? No. Trying to justify your actions? If you didn't make those decisions, then who did? I think I need to atone for my crimes. The jury finds the defendant guilty on three counts. One. You didn't kill me up till the second one! Animal cruelty. Attempting you should free save the dog. Will. Three. Attempting free will. Your sentence to conform without the possibility of parole. You will never again be free to choose. Okay, good. Someone else choose for me. When in Rome, do as the Romans do. Oh dear lord. You're at the base of a bridge. You have no idea how you got here. A person stands before you. Atop the overpass, they're next to a lever. Look, I knew a voice whispers to you. We know what's in. best. Remove that choice. There is a runaway trolley traveling below you. You're part of the collective now. You can't let that person's free will get in the way of progress. Eliminate them. You probably should do it. Fit in with the group. Hashtag friends, hashtag love, hashtag insta good. <laughs> what? I'm trying to leave. We're finally going to find out the answer. <laughs> Age old question. <laughs> if your friends jump off a bridge, would you? Honestly, want to kill people, or are you just copying others? Would you rather be a leader? Developers note this is a heavy kind of metaphor for the pressures of society. Do not kill each other or jump off bridges. <laughs> kill your masters. Kill your masters. <laughs> this is it. The last question right, before we wrap up. By go. far the most. Hang on. Hang on, she says. Do you feel society pressures you to do things you don't want to, constantly forcing you to chase some distant concept of happiness? Actually, I'm quite happy in my life, but I used to. I got, a, I got you an achievement. Yay! I got you the credits. Yeah, you Does that mean you're getting? You're welcome. Well, I feel like I chose wrong at the end there. Wait, this is the last question before we got from this. Oh, okay. Oh, she has cast. Yeah. 
Ah, that was really fun. I, I, I hated and enjoyed that. I enjoyed hating that. Lewis Brinley, Simon Lang, mm. and all those things. That was that was quite fun. I enjoyed yeah. games like that. Uh, remember when I said that the Oaks Castle were making a new like choice game? And I wanted yeah. to. I you know, it just released. So yeah, I got yeah, it. I tried it. I was like, yeah. It, mm. Next time you do a stream and it's really short, I'll just get you to play it. I'm playing it for now. Yeah, that's really fun. And here we get. I think people killed. Oh, so many. I only killed one child though. Uh, jobs lost five. Planes crashed. <laughs> one. What? And one dead dog. <laughs> Didn't give me the option to save it. I had one happy time. <laughs> it's like the and uh, one dead dog. Oh, it's the and and the separation. Yeah. They really rubbed that in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They knew what they're doing. I don't think you can't save the dog. Because it's how relevant it is that you kill this dog. Hashtag cancel Rose Magpie. Uh. That was really good. But anyway, I think that's going to be it for the stream. Thank you very much for joining me and to those that stayed through. Um, Beth, thank you very much. What, um, you, what <laughs> you need to do next time is get a couple of people from... Because uh, everyone mentioned it's not the same question. You need to get a couple of people sort of from your fans on a Discord call and you go through it yeah, again. Yeah, I'll have to see if Saku's like, free at some point. I'd love to see Saku go through this and do all the moral dilemma stuff. Um, I think that'd be a really, really good one to do. Um, maybe demo of winter, something like that. We could get a co-op one going with demo of winter. Mm. Um, that'd be a really good one to do. I'll see if they're interested. But anyway, thank you very, very much for watching. Um, if you're still here, thank you very, very much. And I guess I will see you next time. I'm sorry that this was went from smash up happen to a trolley problem, but it was very, very fun, uh, despite completely destroying my brain. <laughs> uh, so I'm gonna go eat some leftovers and turn off the brain. I am leftovers. <laughs> You're not leftovers. <laughs> this is who's been talking uh, at my side all night. And yes, I will see you 